Now then, on the radio for you tonight, uh, we have The Common Room with Lydia and Hasnain. It's a very good show. And that's at 8 o'clock. And an escape room in Rosendale has been ranked as one of the best in the world, according to an American escape room blogger. Uh, Licardo in Ronstall has been rated number six in the world for customer satisfaction and ranked number one in the UK. And we've sent Lydia and Hasnain from The Common Room, who went to visit Licardo, uh, to have a go uh, breaking out of the escape room. But they also had a chat with one of the, di- the directors, Simon Milnes, about the accolade. First, they asked how the company came to the valley. This is what he said. Licardo is an escape game company that first originated down in Manchester around about three and a half years ago. I, as an enthusiast, played there, loved it so much, I wanted to buy a franchise in it. And then we've uh, bought the franchise and brought it to Ronstall. If you can, without giving too much away, just give us a quick rundown of the games that you have here at the Ronstall branch. Yeah, we've got four games at the moment. Uh, we've got the Gem Runner game, which is a uh, bank heist, so you're bank robbers and you need to go and try and steal the diamond for us. We've got Corruption, which is a twist on a murder mystery. So the person that you've been looking after for the last ten years has just been taken in by the police. He doesn't care, he's going to jail, so he's writing you out. So you need to go back to the hideout, change all the evidence, you get away scot-free. And we've got the University of Magic, where you are witches and wizards, and you have to try and retrieve the dragon's heart. And then our latest one, which opens on the 15th of August, a safe house. Now that's a prequel to corruption. So basically, it's the reasons why corruption happened. Spooky stuff. That was really fun. What's the reception been like? Because you've only been open about a year or so? Yeah, we're just over 12 months now. Uh, To be honest, the reception has been phenomenal. We've had over 6,000 players, over 1,600 teams, Teams come through. Yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. Why rotten stuff? People within the valley have a very kind of close knit community, and what they want to do is they want to stay and they want to spend within the valley. So we thought instead of people travelling down to Manchester and across to other places, well, let's bring the uh, escape rooms down to them. I would say around about 90 to 95 percent of our players have been brand new players, never heard of escape games, never been down to Manchester or anywhere like that to try one of these rooms, and they've they've really engaged with us, especially all the local companies. We have links now with Mr Fitzpatrick's, with Cask. Uh, uh, and then the big one for us is the fire pit, which we use as part of our corporate packages. You're now doing so, so well. You've got an award for this place. Just explain a little bit about how you found out that you made the top 100. A big blogger over in America uh, got in touch with us and said, just to let you know, you've hit the top 100 for the best reviews for escape companies across the world. So we were like, oh, well, that sounds nice. Thank you very much for that. When it actually came out, it turns out that we're sixth in the world um, in terms of customer satisfaction and um, with an average rating of 4.991 star rating. It's already put in things on the map in terms of the escape room industry where do you kind of see yourself within that we'd like to think we front runners there uh, in terms of our, our games and the way in which we run them because obviously for us it's all about customer satisfaction um, whether people get out or stay in you know or don't get out of the rooms so long as they have 100 percent fun in there it's all it's all good for us one of the things that we've got to our advantage here is that we're in terraced houses we have quirky layouts and we literally use every single inch of our building it's so amazing that locally here in lancashire uh, we, you know, we're getting worldwide ratings. Well, what we want to do is we want to keep building our links with local businesses because we're attracting people from all over the country, even all over the world. We've even had international teams come, including the world champions that came because they heard of Rottenstall, heard of our escape rooms and came to do it as part of practice for the Red Bull World Mind Games not too long ago. And what I want to do is I want to build a community in which people come to play the escape games but then stay and spend in the valley because that's what we want. We want to create more jobs around here, we want to create more business so that we can flourish and get ourselves back on the map again. It's back on the way up and, uh, you know, hopefully we can be part of that, spearheading it and pushing people into Rottenstall. If people want to have a look at what you guys do, where can they find it? Yeah, you can find us all across Facebook uh, under the Licardo Rottenstall. If you get yourselves on there or onto our Twitter or our Instagram, lots of information there. We do drip feed things in, so sneak peeks of new games, offers that we've got, competitions that we run. Just get yourselves on there and you'll always be in the know. Simon Mills there from Licardo, Escape Rooms in Rottenstall.